MCPB gives no guarantees on the information provided. We claim no responsibility for any accidents or injuries. If you attempt any of these projects, do so at your own risk. Remember, be safe. <laughs> Hey boys and girls, Dr. Creepy here with another Halloween how-to. This time I'm going to show you how to make an automated prop, a monster in the box. I'm going to show you the basic construction. Here's what you're going to need. Black latex paint, a drill, paint brushes, scrap wood, various screws. You're also going to want to dig up a multi-tap outlet with an extension cord. And last but not least, the heart of the beast, an electric motor. This one spins at about 7 RPMs. Now, I'm lucky enough to know somebody that can get me these. You may have to go to MonsterGuts.com and look for some kind of low RPM motor. I'm not real sure of the torque on this. But if you go to MonsterGuts.com, you can pretty much find any motor for anything you want to do. They supply motors to the home haunters, specifically for prop drive. Now, you'll need a wooden box or crate of some kind. Preferably one with a lid that opens and closes. Okay, one of the first things you want to do is make a drive arm for your motor if it doesn't already have one. This one I just made out of scrap wood. I tapered it at the top so when it hit the lid it would just kind of roll the lid up and the lid would drop. And I secured it with a screw. Now, it all depends on your motor. If your motor's already got a drive arm, you're already halfway there. Now, the length of your drive arm is going to depend on how big your box is and how far you want your lid to open and close. What also is going to determine how far your lid opens and closes is the placement of the motor inside the crate. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. Now drill a hole in the back of your box big enough to accommodate an extension cord. Paint the entire inside of your box black, including the drive arm for the motor, but not your motor. The black's going to help camouflage everything. Now once you got your motor in place, everything painted black, shut the lid, plug it in, and see what you got. Now it's time to talk about decorations and embellishments. Now you know you want to paint the outside of this box. Paint it, stain it, beat it with a hammer, make it look old. What I did is I took a paintbrush with some black latex paint, sprayed some water in it and just kind of made light strokes all the way across the box so it just kind of made it a little dark little dingy little dirty look now anytime I think of a monster in the box I think of the movie Creepshow and I think of the episode The Crate now what made that box really scary wasn't even the monster inside it was that great big chain and that great big padlock on there that made you know there was something nasty inside now what you can do is go to your local hardware store Lowe's or Home Depot any of those places will have fake plastic chain. And it's not very expensive. I don't remember how much I paid for this. But it looks like a chain. It's just white plastic. And I'm going to show you how to scuff it up and make it look like a real chain. First thing is first, anytime you're working with this plastic, scuff it up with a sanding block or sandpaper. That'll help the spray paint to adhere. Next, you're going to take your chain and paint that sucker black. Now, once this is dry and you're satisfied with the look, take some brown acrylic paint and an artist paintbrush and just lightly brush over the chain in random spots. This is going to do is kind of give you a rust look. Do that for the whole chain. Now, once your chain is dry, attach it to the box. Now, I made this old-looking padlock out of foam and some other stuff I had laying around. I'm going to add that to the box. After you're done with all that, you can put a red light inside the box, or you can put a boom box with a scary soundtrack on it, maybe a sound of a monster waking up and... You know what I mean. Anyway, go nuts with it. It's a really cool prop. It's not too hard to do, and it's super cheap. Until next time, boys and girls, this is Dr. Creepy saying stay twisted.
and sleep with the lights on.